So let me try to explain to you how auto tiles in RPG Maker MV and MZ work, so that you are able to create your own. They have four different types of auto tiles: A1 animation, A2 ground, A3 buildings, A4 walls. Let's start this explanation with the ground tiles and move on from there. The RPG Maker auto tile is made up of three sections: the in-engine preview, the inner corners, and the main auto tile. The main part of the auto tile consists of three different parts: the middle part, which is the tile and the tile the edges and the corners. And if you know would paint a single white tile within the maker, it would only contain both edges to form a new tile. And for a horizontal line it would take both horizontal edges. And the same goes for the vertical tiles. Only when your path or whatever is two tiles or wider, the middle tile is actually used. Also it's necessary that the edges are seamlessly tiling, so if you put two next to each other, they don't have a seam. Just like the middle main tile should be seamlessly tiling with itself. Let's create our own ground outer tile to understand better how this works. So this is our starting tile of tile. Now we have to create the edges, the corners, the inner corners and the preview. We start by duplicating our tile and putting the duplicate right next to the original one. Now we take the right half of the tile and put it left of our original tile. A grid set to 24 pixels will be a good help for you. Once this is done, we take it and duplicate it to the top, grabbing the upper half of this and putting it to the bottom. Now we have a 96 by 96 base. Let's draw a border onto the edges and corners to make it more obvious. From here we can create the inner corners. Grab that middle tile, put it to the side and now start building a frame with your edges. So the upper edge goes below the tile, the right edge goes left of the tile, so you slowly build a frame around your middle tile. And once that's done, only the inner corners are missing. Now you can fill them in. Now you can take parts of your tile of the middle tile and put them around your middle tile. Like, imagine if you would place a bunch of tiles around it and just keep those corners. On top of that, you can paint your inner corners. With the inner corners being done, we can grab them and put them into position. A good reminder is that you place them backwards from 1, 2, 3, 4 to 4, 3, 2, 1. Once more, 1, 2, 3, 4 becomes 4, 3, 2, 1. And with all corners always point into the middle. Of course, this is less obvious with more organic shapes, but you get used to it. The in engine preview you can easily create from the four corners of your main auto tile. Now let's look at the other auto tiles. Next up, water tiles. Water tiles are basically floor tiles but animated. They have three frames and they rotate through these frames by 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So they go up and back down. Aside from that we have the waterfalls which also have three frames and they just repeat the same frames over and over. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and so on. They are made up by a main tile and two edges. Now we only have one type of auto tile left. These ones are made up of a middle tile, two sides, and a top and a bottom. This kind of auto tile makes up the building tiles. As well as the lower half of the wall auto tiles, while the upper half of the wall auto tiles is basically the same as a ground auto tile. And with that, we should have everything covered. I hope this helps you to understand auto tiles better. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And maybe leave a like. Thank you so much and have a lovely day. Goodbye!